Hey folks, welcome back to the channel and we have reached episode 200 and I wanted to do something special and you might be looking at this guy thinking that that's not so special. Well, he certainly is to me and I'll explain why when we look at the Vintage Transformers Red Bumblebee in the latest Gothbot True Review. Hey guys, welcome and today in particular I really, really thank you for dropping by. This is episode 200. I wanted to try and do something a bit special uh, for it. And uh, for episode 100, I looked at Cybertron himself, Primus, to celebrate that milestone. And, uh, you know, I was really lucky. Starscream girlfriend got him for me for my birthday. I love her dearly for it. I was so happy to get him. I really think that every collector should have Cybertron in their collection. Uh, but by all means, hey, go back and you know check that out. I covered everything to do with the guy. And for episode 200, I'm going right back to G1. Those of you who are familiar with me at all, especially the ones that have kind of been around since the beginning, uh, have joined me on what I like to call a collector's journey. You know, I'm I'm not uh, I'm not some big time professional, folks. I'm just a geek with a camera and a little bit of passion. Uh, and hopefully, you've learned some fixes along the way. Probably been inspired to do a little bit of your own custom work along the way, and hopefully made some decisions as to who you might want or not want in your collection. But for me. For me, I am one of those old schoolers. My passion started as a, you know, a young child, and this vintage Transformer was the very first Transformer I ever had. This is not a reissue. It's not a, you know, a re-release or anything like that. Nothing I got as an adult. This is the one that I had in my hand when I was, I don't know, five years old maybe, about that. Five, six, five or six years old. Um, picked him up at a local drugstore. I, I can, I can still remember seeing him on the cardstock. Now I'm not gonna lie. This confused me to no end. Anybody who knows that era knows that we had, you know, a, a yellow and a red cliff jumper kicking around. That some had Autobot symbols, some had the rub signs. We had a yellow and a red bumblebee kicking around. Some had the symbols, some had the rub signs. I think we even had a, a hubcap, maybe, or a bumper kicking around the same way. And there were so many of these little red and yellow cars that uh, I think that to this day, this is why when you get a cliff jumper, you're gonna get a bumblebee, or when you get a bumblebee, you're gonna get a cliff jumper, because people got so confused with them. I'm not gonna lie, I've always used this guy as my version of cliff jumper, because he's red. Uh, but officially, he is the red bumblebee that came out. Uh, he still rolls like a champ. He has rubber tires. Rolls like a champ and has rubber tires. I mean, come on. Come on. Because he does everything that a, 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 you know, a robot that turns into a car should. It looks great. Obviously, you can tell, you know, the arm joints there are kind of loose. Uh, his head folds up in here. There's a beautiful, you know, detailed sticker on it. Um, yeah, I, I, I loved this as a kid. I did. How could I not? How could I not? Uh, the thing, the thing was adorable. Um, rolls around great. In robot mode, uh, he actually had decent articulation in the arms. The legs didn't really do anything. The feet kind of kind of, you know, tilt a little bit and whatnot because it kind of went with transformation. Uh, so for paint, because I'm saying that this is Bumblebee, it paints a zero. Even compared to then, it was a zero because I saw it and I was like, Bumblebee's not red. Uh, if we're using him as a cliff jumper, hey, paints ten. Uh, 
even though the car mode certainly isn't the cliff jumper car mode. The articulation, again, for the time it was average for a uh, mini bot, so I guess it was probably a five then, it would probably be like a two or three now, nothing great, but they were just, you know, cheap and adorable and great to build ranks with. Um, transformation. Well, you've probably seen this transformation before, I'm sure you have. So we're just gonna fly through it. You pull the arms out to the sides. You pull the legs down. You flip up the foot. You bring up his head. And how do I know that this is the red bumblebee and not cliff jumper? Well, A, because of the caramel. But B, because of that head sculpt right there. That is the traditional kind of battle mask head sculpt for Bumblebee. And I think we all know it all these years later. He never did stand particularly well. Here's how he compares with a modern day deluxe. That being uh, Wheelie. We'll bring this back even a bit, ooh, a bit more. Here he is next to Wheelie. You know, so he's a, a, a hair shorter, but Still would scale all right. And I looked at Wheelie in full in episode 145. Um, that being said, that you know, I, I mentioned how I use this guy as a version of Cliff Jumper. Well, you know, here he is with a with a bumblebee. I don't really see the resemblance. I even know that there's been a red masterpiece bumblebee who I think most people will use as Cliff Jumper. Because at the end of the day, here's, if you will stand, here's Cliff Jumper, and I ask you, who does this classic G1 toy more resemble? Which character does he more resemble? I think we all know the answer, don't we? I think we all know the answer. Anyway. I still loved him because he was the first one I had. He's what started my passion. He's what took me on this journey. And for that, you know what? He's gonna have to get a score of 50. Yeah, that's right, I said it, a score of 50. He had such an impact despite not quite being right. Anyway, that's episode 200. I know it was a little quirky and a little bit different and a little bit strange, but I certainly thank you for dropping by, giving me some of your valuable time, and I certainly look forward to the next time that you and I get together right here for another visit, Inside the Videos.